I put together a little history of early electronic numeric displays for you guys. I hope you find it interesting. Back in the late 50s, early 60s, we had Nixie tubes, which were essentially neon signs with a metallic element for each of the uh, 10 digits 0 through 9. You put a high voltage on one of the metallic elements, and it would glow uh, reddish orange. Here's another type where they use red tinted glass to uh, really highlight that uh, reddish orange glow. Here's one where they formed it into a uh, decade counter for a Hewlett Packard frequency counter. There would typically be five, six, maybe eight of these lined up. Here's one broken open where you can see what, uh, some of the internal action. There are actually ten neon bulbs with a photocell opposite each one that would aid in the uh, decade counting action. I've seen a low cost version of this where they left out the Nixie tube entirely and just drilled a little hole so you could see which of the uh, neon bulbs was glowing and it would be up to you to uh, read vertically 0 through 9 then left to right and assemble all the digits in your head to get the frequency value. Those eventually evolved into a 7 segment uh, version of a Nixie tube. Finally we have the LED display, which I think came on the line in the late 60s, early 70s. I believe HP uh, patented the technology. And then finally we have a boring old LCD display. Well, in the middle of all that was this technology. This is a non-linear systems uh, digital voltmeter panel mount from, I think, about 1960. Let me fire this up and I warn you it's going to get noisy. put that in standby mode and explain what's going on. Okay, so what this is, is instead of the Nixie tube with the 10 metallic elements, this has 10 plastic sheets, each of which has a uh, number etched into the clear plastic. And there are 10 light bulbs uh, focused on the edge of each of those pieces of plastic. Uh, only one of the bulbs is lit at a time and that illuminates from the side that digit and it glows driving all that. Let's take a look inside. This is a crazy piece of technology. Our stepper relays like they used in the old phone exchanges. On the right hand side we have which uh, what I believe is a uh, a single or dual slope A to D converter. Up front we've got the uh, voltage reference, this is the standard cell last uh, changed out in 1965. I think it's a uh, dry mercury cell. Next to that we have a uh, time-based reference made by Bulova, which I believe is an oven-controlled crystal. And the rest of it I believe forms an integrator, uh, making a uh, very accurate ramp voltage. And the steppers with their precision resistor network would slowly increment the voltage until it would trip a voltage comparator when the two voltages were equal and you get the display. You can see what is standby here and on because when this thing's running it is loud. Which is why I rarely use it except to demonstrate at times like this. That's all for now.